The Secret Service is working around the clock to get ready for the Republican National Convention with the French terror attack on everyone's mind. The FBI is looking at domestic and foreign threats, and it has found no direct threat from any group targeting the convention. But the Homeland Security Secretary says he is still concerned. Jeff Begay's is near Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, the site of the convention that begins on Monday. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. In the wake of the attack now in France, expect officials here for the RNC to update their security plans for the coming week. Already across the city, there are barricades going up and barricades in place for crowd control in the skies and up above security cameras, a network of those. After the Dallas attack on police, they updated their security plans. And as Secret Service Director Joseph Clancy told me this week, their security apparatus is always evolving. In three days, 50,000 people are expected to attend the Republican National Convention at Cleveland's Quicken Loans Arena. The U.S. Secret Service is the lead agency attempting to secure the event against the expected protest and the unexpected. Law enforcement is deploying high-tech tactics, including a video unit to document crowd management and police activity. We can actually run from Huron Avenue right into the building. And they've created this 3D model of the convention grounds. Sure. Obviously, there's great concern uh, in the American people uh, of the status of security uh, at that convention. The government's plans for securing the RNC came up frequently during a House hearing yesterday. Homeland Security right. Secretary Jay Johnson. So I think we have to be concerned about um, things getting out of hand very definitely, but there will be a lot of security and a lot of preparation in place. The city has imposed a heightened security event zone throughout downtown Cleveland, and there is already a wide perimeter secure zone around Quicken Loans Arena, designated off limits to vehicles. FBI Director James Comey. So anytime there's a national spotlight on a political event in the United States, there's a, there's a risk that groups that aspire to do just that, to engage in acts of domestic terrorism, will be attracted. In Nice, in an apparent terrorist attack, a truck was used to kill more than 80 people. The idea of using a vehicle as a weapon was floated in a 2010 issue of Al-Qaeda's Inspire magazine. The terror group called it a simple operation and gave instructions on how to kill the maximum number of pedestrians. You have to be concerned about the one that you don't know. So, uh, and that's the one that really concerns us. You can't let your guard down. Secret Service Director it Joseph Clancy says threat. he is preparing for the unknown. Plans never finished. You, you have to constantly be ready to adapt. Cleveland is bringing in about 2,500 police officers from other cities and towns to bolster its own force of 1,500. DHS Secretary Jay Johnson will be here today. His agency will be sending about 3,000 employees to both conventions. All right, that's reassuring. Thank you very much, Jeff.